everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamisha and you're watching A Mouthful where we cover food and all things food related. So today, as promised, I'm gonna start getting into some holiday recipes for you. We're gonna start with some buttermilk biscuits. And the perfect thing about biscuits is they're perfect for your holiday season to go on your table with your dish. You can even have them in the morning with some bacon and some eggs, or you can cut them in half, top them with some sugared strawberries and some whipped cream, and you have a perfect dessert. So I'm going to show you how to make buttermilk biscuits using three tips that will make your biscuits perfect every time. So let's get right into the recipe. All right, guys, so let's get right into our ingredients. We're gonna start with six ounces, six, ooh, <laughs> six ounces of cold butter. This is Kerrygold. You can use any type of butter that you want. I just like the richness of Kerrygold and I just like to be extra sometimes. Also, two, take, two cups of uh, fl all-purpose flour. You're also gonna need buttermilk. And in here, I already pre-measured one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. Um, I have pink Himalayan in the house, but you can use whatever salt you have, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. So let's go ahead and get into making these biscuits. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with sifting our flour. So right here, I have this little manual sifter that you can use. Now, you don't have to use this. You can use a food processor if, if you have it, or you can use one of the little padded sifters. But this step is so super important because you wanna make sure in order to get a nice, airy, fluffy biscuit, you want to make sure that your ingredients are perfectly sifted. So I like to run through my sifter multiple times. And as you see, you just wanna get your flour nice and fine. And this is to get any clumps or any lumps out of it. And I even like to sift the salt and bacon salt and everything as well. You don't want any clumps in this. All right guys, so our flour and our dry ingredients are nice and sifted. I ran it through my sifter about four times just to make sure that all the clumps and lumps were out of there and we have a nice airy biscuit. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, grate our butter. So my butter has been sitting in the freezer for about, uh, probably about an hour now, just to make sure it's frozen. So most biscuit recipes require for you to cut your butter into um, your flour. What causes you to get a nice, fluffy, airy biscuit is to actually grate your butter into your flour because instead of getting um, big cubes and clunks of butter that you have to kind of knead in. If you grate it into your flour, you have little small fine pieces that can incorporate all throughout the mixture. As you can see that, it's grating up nicely. So what I'm gonna do is get all of my butter grated into our flour, and then I'll come back and show you the next step. All right, guys, so all of our butter is grated into our flour, and this is really messy, <laughs> but you know, you're going to get your hands dirty. You can put gloves on if you want to. You just want to get all of the butter coated with the flour. And you just wanna move kind of quickly because you wanna put this, keep this cold, and you can stick it back into the freezer if you want to as well. But you got nice fine shreds of butter all throughout your flour. And what we're gonna do next is go ahead and add our buttermilk. Okay, so what we did was made a little well in the middle and I measured out one cup of buttermilk. This has been sitting in the freezer for a while because you wanna make sure that your butter and your buttermilk are extremely cold as you're working with this dough. So our hands are gonna get messy again. You wanna take your hands and just start folding everything together. And this is gonna be very sticky, guys. So you're gonna work kind of fast. You can see your dough is starting to come together. So as I continue to knead this together, what I'm gonna do is once I get a ball of dough going, I'm gonna um, pour this out onto a flour counter and start kneading it. 
Okay guys, so we have our dough on our floured silicone mat. And actually this mat is from a company, um, Chef Fast, that sent it to me last year. Um, they are a company that sells kitchen accessories on Amazon. So I'm very grateful and thankful to them for sending this to me. And I'm just now getting around to using it. Um, but it works really good. And I also have my um, miniature uh, rolling pin. So we want to get our dough. We want to move quickly. This is still really cold. And roll it out into... A rectangle well as best of a rectangle as you can get it a little bit of flour because it's starting to stick some and what you're going to do is once you get it rolled out you're going to fold it onto itself and don't be worried if it starts to stick just add some more flour that's expected to happen so just roll it onto itself because this is what's going to create those layers in your biscuits and you can do this a couple of times if you want I'm gonna flatten it back out again and I'm gonna get it folded back over onto itself one more time before we start cutting our biscuits. All right guys, so our oven is preheated to 450 degrees and I have a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. So our dough is rolled out to about an inch thick and you can use a um, cookie cutter if you want to, if you have one, I don't. So I'm gonna use a cup. Just make sure you flour the edge of your cup. So here is the final trick to making sure that your biscuits have a nice rise to them. When you go down into the dough, don't twist your cutter. So you don't, you know, sometimes you would just twist the, the, the cookie cutter or the cup. Don't twist it because what you do is when you twist it, it actually seals the edges of your dough. So don't do any twisting. Just go down and come back up. And you should be able to get anywhere between six and eight biscuits out of this dough so i'm going to get these cut and then we may need to just re-roll our dough again to get the remaining biscuits out of it and i'll show you that in just a second all right so i was able to get eight biscuits out of our dough so the um, butter has softened up a bit so what i'm going to do is pop this back into the freezer for about five more minutes and then i'm going to put it into our oven all right guys, so our dough is nice and cold again, and we want to make sure that you're always working with cold dough. I can't stress that enough because um, the steam is going to cause your biscuits to rise and be nice and airy. So we're going to put it into our 450 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes. All right guys, so our biscuits are out of the oven, and what I'm doing is just getting the butter all on top of them. And then we're going to give one of these a taste. All right, guys, so we're going to give it a try. Have our biscuit. I'm going to open it up and try it out with some honey. It is so good. I love the flavor of the buttermilk in the biscuits. This is perfect for your holiday table or your dinner table or just any occasion that you just want to eat biscuits. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification for more videos in the future and share away. Have a good day.